Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the Play With Passion channel and I hope you guys have enjoyed the Marvel's Avengers in a Titan War movie that I've released on my YouTube channel. I hope you guys support it and thank you so much for your support. Now this video is basically a reply to a request by, first of all, shout out to Cyril Padilla for watching and subscribing to my channel. Now he made a request about a dispatch guide for free to play which I'm actually going to do today which is for all free to play players regarding dispatch mission. Now dispatch mission is a new sector in the game which has been newly introduced in 2021 so back in my time during my days of playing Marvel Future Fight in the first early years of Marvel Future Fight when they were launched I mean pretty sure around 2016 Dispatch Mission was nowhere in the game right so this is a 2021 uh, merchandise this is a 2021 product very very beneficial for all players especially free to play so honestly I do agree with him when he mentions that um, this game this particular game mode do support uh, free to play players because of all the amazing rewards however I would like to explain in detail about how far free to play can go with dispatch mission because as you can see right in front of your screen right now i'm able to only do up to sector five now i do understand that some of you guys might be saying well play play passion you're a content creator you shown us your squad we take you know check your in-game name we have take uh, your squad as a reference to us for inspiration and also how to build certain characters but you can only do until sector five well truth be told in sector five which you can see right now in paris if you click the last mission for example, so take it for example, and you go under the villain section, you notice that the villains are past level 70. Now, some of you might be thinking, well, it's only two levels, you know, this is level 72 versus my level 70 team. Now, basically, the team that you see right in front of your screen, right in front of your screen here, is the team I usually use to clear high stages of dispatch mission because they are the, the, the villains have really high defense, high HP, lots of uh, high damage as well. So we basically need to go with a high DPS team. So we've got Shen Rogers, Ghost Rider, and Thor. Super, super high DPS team. Of course, you don't have to emulate my own kind of team. If you have your own kind of team, do go with your own uh, particular team. Now, do bear in mind, although it is two levels ahead of me in terms of level 72 to level 70, the jump in terms of stats is really high. And therefore, there's also a time limit in dispatch mission as you're aware of. So basically... It takes, I'm pretty sure, uh, I'm pretty sure the maximum time is 3 minutes, but however, it's surely not enough time for you guys to clear this particular stage because it's really hard. Now, although it is says that my team attacks 28k, which is higher than 22k, it depends because sometimes the RNG in this game doesn't really, you know, portray the, dis the, the numerical display on the, the screen. It may mention that your team attacks higher, but that does not mean or guarantee that you, you're going to win the, 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 the entire, you're going to clear this mission. Now, do bear in mind, uh, as a brief intro here, this patch mission, like I mentioned, very, very rewarding for free-to-play players. So, you just say we test it into stage 1. You can see we have level 15. They're not even tier 2. The challenges and rewards are diverse. You can see, you can click here. These are the summarized. They have a 4-star to 5-star custom gear itself already. As well, for isolate, they have starting from 4-star to 5-star as well. So honestly, it's really rewarding to build your ISO set. Card-wise, they start off from 4-star to 5-star again. So they completely eliminate the third 1-star to 3-star cards and also all the other materials. And so for Uru, they start off with 4-star. So yeah, very absolutely rewarding, I have to say, for this special. I totally agree that it does rewarding. Plus, they have the events here. We can uh, get a mighty... I'm sorry, sorry. A CTP of authority with this particular ice cream uh, token. Now, the challenges and reward is optional for you to clear. Again, it doesn't really make much difference, but you want to clear the, 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 the requirement off of your own satisfaction. Of course, you can do so. You can see here, clear with 70% makes high HP, clear with two or more male characters, clear with one or more characters with healing ability. So basically, that's where you can go into your squad and you know, check all the factions and all the type of ability that a character has. You can see if you click over here, you can see that all faction, all species, all abilities. That's one example. Now, the that also that is optional and basically yeah you just play it every day so now the thing is free to play players i know that you do not have a solid character roster you do not have a fully built uh character roster you don't have at least like 10 solid characters to help you clear because that is basically a reflect of how well you can clear your world boss ultimate so now to answer the question how beneficial is this it's 100 beneficial i advise you guys to play every day Plus, let's not forget they have the dispatch shop as well. You can actually buy stuff here from gold. And basically, if you go onto the maximum, as you can see here, if you click onto the maximum, there's a chance for you to get some premium cards, sometimes CTP. But I just say, from my experience, a very, very low uh, probability that you're going to get all these rewards. Basically, you'll mostly get a lot of clear tickets sometimes. Sometimes you get some biometrics, sometimes some Mendeleys. I won't spend a lot of crystal. Basically, it costs a lot of crystal to purchase those items once you have completed the 100% meter. And basically... 
yeah, this is one thing you should look after. Don't forget, in every mission, they have a dispatch uh, section here where you can see that you dispatch your team. These are the dispatch points you can get. As you can see, my combat, uh, my growth grade is currently 16. So basically, the higher growth grade, the higher the reward and the better you can achieve your, your score. That's one thing you should do, bear in mind as well. So you got 16, 13, 10, 11 and 8 because, again, your character growth score, I mean, the, uh, the, um, your character growth score combined with other character growth score does make up the total growth, uh, growth grade of your current sector three uh, sector dispatch. So you can see here, I'm not using characters that I've already built up. I'm actually using characters that I don't really build up. Maybe use them for support or for passive or uh, for Shadowland. So basically, the growth grade is only 10 compared to my first one where I use mostly all my tier 3 characters like to the maximum. As you can see with Ghost Shadow Rogue, all the, the tier 3 characters are here, so the growth rate is 60, so it's a higher growth rate, higher percentage chance, and the goal rate is different, you can see here, plus 210 for one minute, whereas compared to here, this one is only 195 per minute, so yeah, that, that makes a difference, guys, the growth rate does make a difference, so do bear that in mind, the more characters you have, is obviously the better you can, f you can uh, gather all the dispatch uh, rewards as well during the mission, so now, time to answer the question is like, you are people, I and mean, you are a content creator, but your levels only into sector five. Why not into sector ten? Why not into sector nine? Okay, here's the thing, guys. All right, truth be told, in Marvel Future Fight, I do advise you guys to play a variety of content. You know, play dispatch, play world boss, play giant boss, etc. Everything up to where your capability is. However, this is Marvel Future Fight, right? This game is solely, particularly unique that you don't really have to spend money on it. You don't really have to play every game content in it just to have a good character. Now, despite I'm a content creator, I still maintain my line of uh, reminder that, okay, I know I'm a content creator, I know I'm doing this for the free-to-play community, I know I'm doing this for my, you know, my hobby as, 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 and such, but I also have to bear that in mind that this is also my leisure. This is something I play for fun, I get to play how it is, and I want to enjoy the game. So, one example you can take from me is that, you see, I play until Sector 5, but if you take a look at my team, I've built up majority of tier 3 characters. Now, some of you might claim that, oh, I'm a kind of player who does not go for quality. Um, I'm a bit in the middle of quality, but I do really emphasize on the number of quantity for this particular game, in my opinion, because I get to play with a diverse version of characters, you know. I don't have to fully focus on Sharon Rogers, you know, build her out of the mess, go for the, the maximum growth score. As you can see here, I'm even unranked for growth score, but I really don't care because... I will build her to where I think she's really fit to play. She's really good, at least in my in my case. You know, give her a good CTP, like a 200% damage proc at least. And then, okay, that's it. You know, I leave her aside. I go to view on Thor. I go to be on Ghost Rider. And I'm free to play, so I can't spread my resources very, very well because I don't know which character really means much for me, which is why I still mention at the end of the day, when you want to buy a uniform, you need to buy and you need to purchase what you really need. So that goes in case I just built my uh, my quality uh, score grade on Luna Snow as well, Ghost Rider. I just built as much as I can. I can't beat, build the best for them because I'd be too selfish on one character. I want to play, I want to enjoy the game with a variety of characters. As you, you know guys, Super Giant is now making the highlight. So I haven't made that surprise for you guys because she's really good. And in fact, she's my next target for a uh, very expensive character after Silver Surfer. So yeah, so in this time of Dispatch, my advice is you don't have to force yourself to clear until sector 10. That doesn't make a difference. I mean, it does make a difference. You get uh, tier 3 materials at the end, but the difference is uh, minimal, of course, when you accumulate, it gets more, but don't pressure yourself until you're not really enjoying the game. Do as Try to build your, your dispatch mission as high as you can possibly because it gets really hard, like I mentioned. The level, although it's two levels ahead of your character, level 17, the benchmark, the difference is really high. The defense, the HP... The spread out of the, the, the tire stat jump is really high compared to your current character, although the team attack is higher than your enemy's attack uh, team. So do bear that in mind. Again, one more example I can use, guys, is uh, honestly um, World Boss. So now, most players, more content, most content creators, most free-to-play, some free-to-play have already unlocked now, Mephisto, but I don't because I don't even play the characters on the right. The, at the ball, world boss on the right because they don't give me the materials I need. I need more tier 3 materials, especially from the world boss um, ultimate on the left hand side. So basically, I play mostly all their content because I can get more tier 3s. I'm not a big fan of Quicksilver. I'm not a big fan of playing Scarlet Witch as well. Cable, Apocalypse, and I'm not losing out much if I don't play now because, like I say, see, I don't play now. I don't play Mephisto, but my team is still. We have at least now 10 tier 3s in my team right now, guys. 
I don't even play the epic quest. I don't even complete Sentry's epic quest. I don't even use him for PvP and I'm still in the uh, Vibranium League for PvP. So you do get what I'm saying now, guys. You don't have to play every content. You can try as much as you can, trying to push your, your team to clear that content as, as possible as you can, but don't force yourself till you forget to enjoy the game. So that's my tip I have for this patch. Uh, for this patch. 100% I... Sorry. 100% I support you guys to play the content, play clear as much as you can, but if you come to a part where maybe until Sector 4, maybe Sector 4, 1, you can't clear it already, it's okay, all right, it's okay. Just repeat the, the cycle, you know, just uh, use clear, you can use clear tickets or auto-progress, you can just play throughout the mission just for fun and just get the rewards. The rewards is still certain and guaranteed just that it's not at a higher level, so you do get what I mean. So yeah, 100% free-to-play guides. Uh, Currently right now, you, I know that I'm aware, well aware of that your characters are not maximum built because I was once there before. So basically, I like I told you guys, be patient, be consistent, just play every day. Trust me, you'll get better. Maybe today you start at sector one. Then maybe in maybe one week, you go to sector two. Maybe later you get sector three, like sector four and sector five. If you stop for a really long time, maybe for six months, you don't even get many progress. It, it doesn't really matter, you know. There are a variety of game modes in Marvel's Chat for you to try. You got story, you got dimension. You know, Dimension, not to forget, you have the Dimension Shop. Truly, truly a one place you can farm a lot of biometrics here because of the Dimension Tokens. You know, you don't, let's not forget your World Boss, obviously. World Boss, obviously, I know you guys are free to play, so basically you have to start with the Beginner's Mode or Normal's Mode because Normal is quite difficult. But what I'm trying to say is that you will get there, alright guys? Don't give up. I'm with you guys. I'm helping the free-to-play community. So basically, yeah, play all content up to where you can and don't forget to enjoy the game. So... With that, guys, uh, I would like to summarize the video. Okay, play Dispatch Mission. It's a very good free to play for, for place for free to play to farm. Hit me down in the comments below if you have any requests about what I should do for free to play, guys. I'll surely uh, get back to you, reply you to uh, reply you as soon as possible, and I'll make a video about it if you want me to do. Uh, if you want me to do so. So thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for more. Ciao.